Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of April 25th through May 2nd for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Or you could even look around on those Monday readings. They are a different format every week. So there's all kinds of things going on here. Something for everyone. Thanks to everybody who's been subscribing and hitting that like button. I really appreciate you and everything you do for the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us. Then you'll know when any announcements are made or anything new is posted. Let's begin and get the guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know? What messages do you have for Taurus, please? All right, we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we will hear from the angel answers. All right, you begin here with the High Priestess, the Four of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, interesting, the Six of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, well, all right, you have here Leo, you've got Taurus, you've got Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you've got Earth, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Cap, and you've got Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Well, you're definitely moving forward here. I love to see the Sun, the Ten, or the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Wands here. You know, with the... Um, the high priestess, you are very intuitive right now. You, you know, everyone is psychic and it's just a matter of how much will you let it in. You're letting yourself access information. Some of you may be having very powerful dreams. You may be having more synchronicities, but really it's all about your ability to attract and not just ability because we all have it. It's that willingness, that that openness to the, the idea that you are a creator of your own reality. You're a deliberate creator. So with the High Priestess, it's a lot of potential, but it's very passive energy. Some of you may be using your analytical mind. I look at the cards, especially with that Four of Swords. And you sit back and you analyze, and maybe you don't rush to make a decision. Um, you you want to make sure you have all the information first. But I do feel like when things start to go forward, they go forward quickly. So with the High Priestess, it's also about being true to yourself. You're not going to compromise yourself. If it's a decision that has to do with work or it has to do with something that might hurt someone else, I feel like you are not going to move forward with it. You're going to be judicious and you're going to be glad in the end that you did. You know, it's sort of like love all and, and do no wrong to anyone. You know, we don't try to hurt people. And I feel like you have some awareness of something that might hurt someone. So you're holding back and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so with this, you've got this four of swords. And again, it's taking a break. It's not wanting to um, be, you know, be in conflict with anything. Interesting that you have the five showing up here. Because I feel like you're not going to get into it with people. Or you're making a concerted effort to stay out of dramatic situations. Because you know that lowers your vibration. You know you don't want to get involved with it. Because it's like it never ends up being a good thing. So with this Four of Swords, you're being more deliberate about restraint of pen and tongue. Getting yourself away from situations that are chaotic, dramatic. And just not good for your overall being. And so with this, it also can be going to a therapist. But I feel like you are it's more about you making some choices. And again, like I said, you've got something going on here with the analytical mind. And wanting to, and wanting to be careful about how you do things. Um, and I don't feel like it's, uh, it, and it's, it's not led by fear as much as it is almost about your concern for the greater good, you know, so I mentioned this before. I mean, you've got a beautiful line up here with the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, stuff, things are moving forward, okay? This is beautiful energy, so we're going to allow this to happen. And so with the Wheel of Fortune, I, you know, I like the High Priestess in terms of that intuitive nudge. She also holds the laws of the universe on her lap. And so this is also a card of great symbolism, high vibrational energy that you're moving into. It feels like luck, like you're in the right place, you've got the right timing, you meet the right people. 
It's all that sort of stuff. I feel like you're in a place too where you're going to meet somebody that's going to be very important in your life. And part of this, it's it's an interesting mix of like vibrational stuff here because I feel like you slow yourself down intentionally. You meditate, you quiet your mind, and that actually does the opposite. It raises your vibration so that you start to get this wonderful momentum. So in that deliberate way that you quiet your mind down, it actually is a great paradox where you speed up your own vibration. And so when you do that, you're going to meet somebody, like I said, who's very going to be very influential in your life. Um, I feel like they're some kind of a mentor, but they help you, especially if it's money related or anything to do with um, like acquiring property or something like that, where you're making some kind of an acquisition or a financial decision. This person's going to be, um, I was going to say valuable, but I, you know, they're just going to be really helpful. So with the Four of Pentacles, I mentioned before, I feel like this is more about you. These fours are about you. I don't feel like it's somebody being closed off to you. So some of this is just, some might say you're being stubborn, but I see it more as, and they might perceive you that way. And they can, okay? They're welcome to. Um, I think it's David Goggins. He's a Navy SEAL, and he has a video, I believe it's called F Them. <laughs> And it's kind of funny listening to him, but he's very passionate about basically people hide hide their jacked up lives. And so when they're worrying about you, it's just to hide their own stuff. But anyway, I do feel like with this, um, you are trying to make the right decision. So you're just not going to rush to judgment. And and again, you don't like to be pushed. So I think anybody, if you're cross watch or trying to push on Taurus, is not going to be a good idea in this energy. I do feel like it's about money, it's about finance, it's a, in terms of a relationship too. You may have taken a break from somebody or taken a break in general from dating and having an interest in moving forward in a relationship, but I do feel like you've got some activity that moves things forward. So <clears throat> the Five of Swords, there may be somebody who tries to, to pull you into a power struggle. Um, I do feel like it's more somebody else initiating it. And some of it is they want you to do something. They want you to make a decision that you're not going to, to do if, you know, you're pushed. Um, so with this, I feel like you're getting yourself to in a place where you're quieting that mind in a way that you remove yourself from conflict. You remove yourself from people who tend to stir the pot to get things in, in you know, they just get things in a place where it becomes very toxic and negative. You're walking away from anyone who's like that. Again, I felt like you bring in somebody in with the Six of Pentacles, you bring in somebody who is um, a mentor type or they're just very helpful. They're very helpful in terms of giving advice, giving guidance. This is all about giving and receiving help. I also feel like whatever you're doing at work, you're going to see some advancements there too, where it seems like things get going in a pretty nice direction, at least for a while. You may get restless after a while, though, and want to make a bigger move. Um, but I do feel like for a while, it's kind of like status quo is okay. It doesn't seem like, I don't feel like a real discontent, like I need to get out of here. It's more about, you know, it suits you for now. It's giving you enough money. It's allowing you to look at some other parts of your life. What else do you want to do with this? And so it's reciprocal. It's not, it's not just working so hard and not getting anything back. So the sun is a wonderful energy. It really is a card of everything coming to the surface. Anything, and that's the other thing too with that high priestess. That can be hidden information. Well, when the sun shows up, there's nothing that hides in the sun. So everything gets revealed here. So if you've been not making a decision because you've been just skeptical or hesitant, I do feel like you're going to get any information that you need. This is a time of a great attainment. It's really a victorious card. And it, like I said, it illuminates anything hidden. So you see everything with clarity. So whatever you've been trying to try to figure out with that an analytical mind, you're able to. But it is radiating positivity. It's a beautiful energy. And it's also taking time to do things for yourself. And, and just doing, feeling good about yourself and feeling that, complete acceptance and like you're really moving in the right direction. So I do feel like in a in a relationship sense, this is a time 
to start being open to new love or being open if there's been a recon there's been a breakup and you're feeling like there's reconciliation because somebody here is very intuitive and you keep feeling like this is going to come back around it is because you're already sensing it so there is going to be movement of for forward with this eight of wands it's communication it is the arrows of love too and it moves fast this is not slow moving energy so it may seem like you know it happens almost overnight where things move forward in a relationship and also too for some of you it's that communication you need to make a decision about something financial um if it's like if it's acquiring something buying something you've got the right people showing up and you're going to get the right information but again you're using your you're using your um intuitive capabilities here to your advantage and so pay attention to them those synchronicities those feelings that you get that you just can't seem to shake they can you know they're accurate for uh, how many times do people say i knew that was going to happen damn it i wish i would have listened i wish i would have trusted myself and of course but it's more of the ego mind that says be skeptical you know the soul never questions the soul just accepts and moves and is in flow so, let's see about the timeline here. All right, we have here a golden opportunity. Okay, so when the timing is right, like I said, you're going to have perfect timing, the right people, the right opportunity shows up here. Um, so even if it's, like I said, some kind of a physical move with that Wheel of Fortune moving forward, they do say the situation will improve. But I feel like you're taking measures to do that. You're proactively improving everything around you. They do say compromise. This may be for reconciliation people, um, that there may be some information that gets revealed that allows you to do that. Now, they do say a year from now. When you see that, it doesn't mean it's moving so slow. It, it's like in a year from now, things are going to be completely different. They're going to change dramatically and you know you'll see I mean the way that the card is laid out now they do say choose a new direction so there might be too much specificity on the how is this going to happen um, and it also to a little bit of that stagnant energy that using that analysis it don't get too caught up in that because you do want to be fluid enough to move forward and not be too caught in the analytical piece of it so there are definitely good things showing up here for you Taurus I love you and I'll be back again soon